Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good night. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to have you here. Ready to study English? Yes. Yes, yes I'm ready. Excellent. That's yeah. Good. Okay, so let's begin today. And also, I just want to know, what do you remember we started in the class yesterday? Eh, casualmente se me olvidó todo y entonces quiero saber que ustedes me digan qué estudiamos eh, eh, yesterday. What we started. Tell me about it because I forgot everything that I had studied. Yes. What we did. We used the neither and either either so. Okay, perfect. Excellent, excellent. Eh, ¿Y para qué usamos? ¿Y para qué lo usamos? ¿Cuál es el cuál es ¿Cuál es el objetivo de usar el, el, el so, to, neither, and either? ¿Para qué lo usamos? Um, for instance, when someone, he, he told me, hey, I like it the pizza and and maybe in my case i don't like it and i to say and i neither am i <laughs> okay thank you excellent thank you so much so yes um we use it yes you you explain it pretty good you use it to agree or disagree about something that is the main use of uh, this structure we agree or disagree for example if i say i like pupusas hey so do i because i agree or i like it too and that's why we use it and also and if the in the same case if we dislike i, I dislike uh, pasta hey neither neither do i so we we use in this part the structures so, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más se acuerdan? Tell me, tell me. Yes. ¿Qué más se acuerdan? The shirt, the, the food, different ah. food. Excellent. Yes. My favorite topic. I like the food. <laughs> so that's my favorite topic. Yes. Okay, so let's continue with the following part of the class. Así que, ¿estamos listos? Are we ready? Ready. That's right. Let's go. Okay, so we have a conversation. Look at this conversation. Ordering a meal. Okay, when was the last time you went uh, to a restaurant? When was the last time you went to a restaurant? Yes? Maybe one week. A week ago? Yes. Ah, a week ago. Excellent. Okay. And you guys? When was the last time you went to a restaurant? The last weekend, teacher. Oh, the last weekend. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Interesting. What else you can mention in the conversation? What else, what else? ¿Qué más le podemos agregar ahí? So, we had uh, also uh, the opportunity to request something we like, especially food. When we're talking about food, we, we, we go and see the menu and see something interesting that we would like to eat in a restaurant. But when we go to a restaurant, we had to think about some special food that perhaps we like. And also, there, there are some ways that we can use to request some food, especially in a restaurant. 
what we have to do is we will have a conversation right now. And I want you to practice this conversation with a partner. So for this, what we had to do is this. Vamos a escuchar la conversación. La voy a leer. Y luego ustedes la va a practicar con su compañera. You will practice this conversation. Y como les digo, yo siempre les enfatizo y les digo que pues... Eh, yo siempre les digo que necesitamos eh, practicar el acento. O sea, tenemos que practicar muchísimo. La escritura es muy importante. Entonces necesitamos hacer eso, ¿verdad? Ok, let's see here. Vamos a ver. I'll also record this conversation too. May I take your order? Yes, I liked the lamb kebabs. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, the, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, and what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Look at this way. Um, look at this conversation. We are saying, that, may I take your order? When we use may, may is a is an auxiliary, right? And this auxiliary, it's it's very very formal. When we request something in English, may it's it's very very formal. Como sabemos, el may es un modal verbs. Entonces, el modal verbs lo usamos eh, específicamente para para requerimientos for permissions. Entonces, es muy formal utilizarlo. Usted úselo. Use it because it's very formal. Es cuando cuando dice, may I go to the bathroom? May I have a seat? Uh, may I say something? How how may I help you? So there are different ways to to say something. May it's very formal. And also they say yes, I like long keyboard. Vemos que I like me gustaría eh, utilizando el wood y el auxiliar. Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Vemos que está el I y will en forma contractada. Ya vamos a vamos a desglosar la estructura. And also y estamos utilizando el have del verbo tener. Pero acá es como para nosotros, cuando yo digo I have, es como decir, y yo quiero eh, esto, o deme esto. Entonces, esta sería para nosotros como la forma para decir I have. Eh, más que todo, cuando queremos pedir una comida en un restaurante. It's a very formal way to request some food in a restaurant. You know, I have a sandwich, I have a salad. So people, most of the time, they use this way to request some food in a restaurant because it's very formal and people understand that since the very beginning and okay okay what kind of dressing would you like so they are talking a little bit about dressing uh we have blue cheese and vinaigrette blue cheese please you can see that and uh yes i, I like large iced tea please and lo que vamos a hacer en este momento es que vamos a practicar la conversación y quiero que se enfoque en la pronunciación Así cuando, cuando Dennis, Dennis Francisco lea va a decir Dennis, oh, oh yes, I like lamb kebab. Y enfocarnos en el acento, right? Trying to pronounce properly the vocabulary. Les he mandado también al grupo el audio de cómo lo, lo pueden escuchar por si usted dice, hey, ¿cómo se pronunció esta palabra? And we have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Oh, blue cheese, please. Bueno, como sabemos en el inglés, eh, y se los digo por, por experiencia, Um, usted se va a encontrar personas que hablan inglés rápido, súper rápido que usted ve la palabra y dice, ¿qué dijo? Well, in, uh, por ejemplo, my I take your order? I like lamb kebabs súper rápido, entonces tenemos que adaptarnos a la velocidad um, in English, English could be spoken in a fast way or in also in a, in a small way like for example the president so this is one of the things that we had to take into account when we are having a, a conversation in English. So for this one, vamos a irnos a los breakup rooms y vamos a practicar. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta en este momento. Um, no questions? 
No question. No questions. Okay, I love that. <laughs> okay, so let's hear the the part of the this conversation. So we will we will create the breakup rooms. You have access to the breakup rooms, and also, and we practice. So let's see here how many members we have right now in this in this in this class today. Let's see. We have. Um, I think three members for each group will be enough. Like three members in each group will be enough to me. Okay, let's go. Um, eh, creamos los breakup rooms y um, y lo practicamos. Eh, voy a mandar la imagen también por WhatsApp, so ustedes la pueden tener ahí. And also you can practice also the conversation. And let's go right now. Look at this. Igual Ajá. cuando regresamos al, al grupo, me toca salir. Empezamos. Okay. Va, empezamos entonces. Somos, Somos cuatro. Empezar eh... una pareja y después la otra, me imagino. Ajá, empecemos una pareja y después la otra. Uh -huh. ¿Quién está? Ahí está. Uh -huh. Vaya, este. Comienzo con Xiomara. Vaya, voy a ser el, el, el waiter. Um, waitress. Wait, wait, waiter. Waitress. Waitress. <laughs> yeah, waitress. no, it's because it's for, for ladies, you know, it's for, for women, he is a. Don't worry. Waitress. Wait, it's for, for women, is waitress. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Vaya, vaya, Xiomara. Xiomara. Okay. May I take you order? Yes, I like the lamb. Kibax. 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 All right. And, and would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay, what king of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigre. Blue cheese, please. 
And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a lager. I see, please. Okay. No sé si, si, si lo volvemos a practicar o que pase otro compañero. Y los demás. No hay... Vaya, cambiemos entonces, cambiemos entonces los. los... Comienza ese primero. Okay. My, I take you over. Yes, I like the lamb kebab. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinegar. Blue cheese, please. please. And do you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Ahora vamos nosotros. Bueno. Okay. ¿Quién empieza? Walter, Walter. May I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. And what do you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. <laughs> May I take your order? Yes, I I like the lamb. Keywords. All right. Uh, would you like a salad? Yes, I ha I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? Ah, we have blue cheese and vinaigrette. <laughs> blue cheese, please. <laughs> uh, would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. <laughs> okay. Hi. Perdón, un trailer. La palabra mix, mix it, es mix it o mix? Uh, mix. Mix. Ah. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Volvemos otra vez. Yeah. La dos no intercambiamos parejas con las mismas. Waiter, waiter es extraño. Okay. Si si dice waiter sí. Pero bueno, pero hagamos yo... de esta manera ya, ya no perdamos tiempo buscando lo de uh -huh. de Bye. quién es quién. Ajá, porque ahí Vaya. en el texto se entiende quién es el que está orde ordenando. Customer mm -hmm. is, es el que llega a comprar. Yes. Sí. Ah, y waiter o waiter, you. ¿cómo se dice? Waiter. Waiter is waiter. the man. Waiter. What is waiter? Waiter is the man. And, and waiter ah. is the woman. Ah, entonces waiter es como decir hombre. Ah, exactly. Is it female? Um, ah, no, en no es camarero. Yeah, o mesero, ambas. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Vaya, vaya. Sí. <laughs> yes. Bueno, gracias, teacher. Thank you very much. Thank All you. right. <laughs> okay. Lo hacemos ahora entonces así, solo dos. Sí, voy, voy, Demo, voy. empiezo yo. Okay. And may I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right, and would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. 
Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and oh, bean, bean, vinaigrette. 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 Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Okay. Qué bueno, qué bueno. ¿Quieren a usted ahora con, con David? Y, lo, y luego lo hago yo con David. Sí, Vaya, quiero aguantar el camarero. Vaya. Ash. May, ah, sí. <laughs> May I take your order? Yes, I like the lamb kebabs. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I will have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? <laughs> yes, I would like a large iced tea, please. Es excelente. Excelente. Ya no nos da tiempo de hacer otra, ¿verdad? No. Okay, students, congratulations for the practice. I was listening to uh, the conversations and I was like fascinated because most of you were uh, pronouncing the vocabulary and also the conversation in a good way. That's awesome. I, definitely that I really enjoyed it. I was like listening to some groups and I said, whoa, they, they are pronouncing pretty good. Sounds really good. So that's why we will be practicing. A group was saying, Hey, we need more time to practice. Yeah, so don't worry because at the end of the class, I will give you extra time to practice because it's it's very necessary. In classes, we start vocabulary, grammar, but we don't have this time to produce the language. So it's necessary to produce a language to have a good accent, also to speak fluent. It's the process that we that we are facing every time that we are in class. Okay, so congratulations because you did a great job. I really like it. I enjoy the, the conversation all the time. I love listening to you guys. I love listening to you producing the language. It's a personal satisfaction to know that. So um, let's continue with the next exercise. But I want to ask you, do you have a question or, or a doubt or a comment by any chance? No question. OK, thank you. All right, let's continue. Well, um, we're just talking about, you know, valuable details here. Let's see the next part. Mm -hmm. This one. This is the topic. The grammar focus, the model verbs. I just want to ask you guys, do you remember when do we use, what's the function of a model verb? ¿Se recuerdan ustedes cuál era la función de un modal verb? Son los verbos que, eh, como de la forma formal de preguntar. Ya. Yeah. Nice. As we know, we call them like modal verbs that in Spanish are verbos auxiliares. Um, those auxiliary verbs have something special. Como ustedes saben, estos modal verbs no, no tienen, es decir, no tienen un infinitivo y tampoco tienen un gerundio. Eh, por eso es que usted nunca va a ver que le, que le va a agregar el to. No, no, no lo necesitan porque no son, no son infinitivos y no son tampoco gerundios. Entonces, por eso está el verbo y a la cual puede ir otro verbo sin ningún problema. Por eso se le llama verbos auxiliares. Eso quiere decir que no se conjugan con las personas grama gramaticales. 
por lo que no tienen un infinitivo y, por ejemplo, no existe tu can, no se puede. Solo se dice can. No tiene gerundio, entonces no puedo decir mighty, entonces no se puede. Entonces, eh, por eso usamos los modal verbs, porque estos nos indican una acción, nos indican una sugerencia, nos indican una recomendación, nos indican un consejo, nos indica una posibilidad, una probabilidad. So that's what we call modal verbs. Y tenemos would. We have would as the main uh, auxiliary verb. We will use would for different circumstances. Some students have asked me about what's the meaning about would. Si me preguntan en este momento, teacher, ¿qué significa la palabra would? ¿Qué le dirían ustedes? Bueno. Yes. Me gustaría. Me gustaría. Ok. Eh, es solamente un auxiliar nomás para indicar deseos. I would like. Uh -huh. No sé cómo me gustaría comprar, me gustaría hacer cosas. Ok. Interesting. I mean, when, when we use would, eh, many students ask me about the, the real meaning about would. Yo les digo, realmente would no tiene un significado. Es decir, would no tiene un significado. Creo que modifica el verbo. Exactly. Por eso es un, es un auxiliar. Es, es un auxiliar porque hace una modificación. Los auxiliares modifican todos los demás verbos. Cuando hay un auxiliar, este le da una modificación o un plus. Vamos a ver, le voy a escribir cuál, si le, en términos eh, de darle un significado, yo le daría este a continuación. Ahí. Eh, look at the chat. Miren el chat, please. Si yo quisiera darle un significado a Wood, yo le agregaría el IA. No va a significar eso porque no tiene significado, pero hace que el verbo que vaya a la par lleve esa terminación. Por ejemplo, yo digo jugar. Y si le agrego el would, diría jugar. Ría. Ría. Cantar, canta. Ría. Entonces, ahí es donde hace la función el would, como una probability. Como una probability. Entonces yo digo, I would dance. I would dance. Bailaría. I would. I would go. Iría. I would study. Estudiaría. I would travel. Viajaría. I would say. Diría. I would jump. Saltaría. I would see. Vería. I would like. Me gustaría. Entonces, el would hace que todos estos verbos lleven esa terminación de ia, right? I would travel, I will sleep, I would go, I will say, I will, I will speak, I will use, I will understand, I will feel. Entonces, todos los verbos que ven ese would lo van a hacer en terminación ia. Y es como una probability, an opportunity to do something here. Ok. And that's why y hoy nos vamos a enfocar como en este caso. Like in this case. Estamos hablando de para un request y para un request, eh, ¿se acuerdan que la conversación decía eh, como ir a un restaurante, meal, food, request some food? Entonces, el would like es una expresión, I would like, es una expresión muy formal cuando nosotros queremos algo. I would like, en Spanish significa... Me gustaría. Entonces usted va a un restaurante, you go to a restaurant, and you request something to eat. You are like, oh, I would like um, a soda. I would like to speak with the manager. I would like to try a hamburger. I would like a pizza. And, entonces, el would like es como me gustaría. Y también vamos a utilizar para, para un, cuando usted vaya a un restaurante, imagínese que va a un, a un restaurante y habla solo English. Y usted dice, bueno, estoy en un restaurante en inglés. Si no pido en inglés, no voy a comer. <laughs> People say that. So you have to know what to, what to say, especially when we're asking for food. And also, vamos a ver el primer ejemplo. Eh, 
cuando yo quiero pedir algo también yo voy a decir I would like o también voy a utilizar eh, el futuro de will. Por ejemplo, yo digo I will y usamos la forma contractada I'll. Veamos el chat. Look at the chat. I will is like I'll. Entonces es la forma contractada de I will. And also you can see here I y vamos a utilizar el verbo have. En este caso el verbo have significa tener, pero en el contexto de comida es como que yo estoy diciendo yo quiero, eh, yo quiero una hamburguesa. Es como decir I have a hamburger. I have a sandwich. Hey, yo quiero un sandwich. Entonces have toma ese significado específicamente cuando vamos a pedir comida en un restaurante. When we're asking for some food. And also you can use it like I have a sandwich. I have a hamburger. I have a pizza. I have a soda. A, oh, I would like a can. I would like a soda. I would like a dessert. So you are talking about what to eat, what food you can consume. Um, y that's one of the things that we are asking about food. And look at examples. Tenemos cuatro preguntas. Imagínense que Elena Gabriela le toca ir a un restaurante y solo en inglés habla. Para Elena Gabriela va a ser fácil esto. Ah, no, it's easy. I will request some delicious food. So, and the waiter or the waitress requests, oh, welcome. So, what would you like? Um, I like lamb kebabs or I have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? Um, I like blue cheese, please. Or I have a vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I like a nice tea. Or I'll have a coffee. Would you like anything else? Oh, just uh, please. I like some water. Oh, no, thank you. That, that'd be all. That'll be all. So you can see here the, the, the people are asking for some food in a formal way. Definitely that you will get some food and you know how to request some food. I like or I have two choices, eh, especially for eating in a restaurant. Uh, question? Sí, este, solo le entendí todo lo demás, solo que al Will no entendí cómo era el, el uso. Ah. Eh, les hacemos necesitan un refuerzo de, del will cómo usarlo sí lo demás lo entendí cómo sí. es que tú se utiliza el will el have pero el will no entendí muy bien su forma de uso para para eso Ok, lo explicamos porfa Ok, bueno. do it el will eh, cuando usted escuche futuro cuando usted me diga futuro lo primero que se le viene a la mente es will. En este caso, eh, al igual que would, will es un, es un auxiliar en futuro. It's a future auxiliary. Entonces, eh, will tampoco tiene un significado, pero sí va a ser que un verbo se convierta en futuro. Eh, eh, las, los futuros serían como correré. Es decir, el verbo lo va a hacer en futuro. Si yo digo, I will dance, ¿cómo sería el significado? En futuro. Yo bailaré. Bailaré. I will, I will go. Iré. Ajá. I will travel. Dejaré. Uh -huh. I Dejaré. will, I will speak. Oh, I'm sorry. Dejaré. Ajá. Entonces el will lo que nos hace es que el verbo que, le, que, que está a la par lo transforma en futuro. That's the meaning about will. Perfecto. Perfecto, gracias. Sí, yeah, that's, that's one of the points. En este caso, como les digo acá, cuando yo digo I have, um, I have, este se convierte como, como eh, oh, yo voy a querer esto para comer. Yo voy a querer esto. I, I want this. I have this. Ese para nosotros sería como el significado, especialmente cuando vamos a un restaurante. It's uh, very important to focus on these structures.
using. And also it's uh, very formal to request. Would you like anything else? Te gustaría algo más? Would you like anything else? Uh, would you like uh, to drink? What kind of dressing would you like? En este caso, cuando te dicen what, what kind of dressing would you like, como que clase de aderezo o que clase de salsa te gustaría, entonces dice, oh, I like blue cheese or please, or oh, I have vinaigrette. Entonces, ese dressing para nosotros es como un, un aderezo, es algo que le va a llegar a usted a la comida. Eh, uh, more questions? Yo tengo una pregunta. Hi. Es que a mí me cuesta entender un poquito la diferencia de la pronunciación de la contracción de I will y I will. Mm, en este caso, eh, bueno, en términos, en, en términos de... Es, es muy muda realmente. Eh, eso es... A, a, la cuestión de práctica, por ejemplo, yo digo I'll, I'll, o I'd. Entonces, es, es más que todo el contexto también que nos puede ayudar. Por ejemplo, si yo aquí digo I will, yo digo I'll, I'll. Entonces, usted dice I'll, ya no solo es I, sino que es, se menciona como una L. Es la like, I'll go, I'll travel, I'll study, I played. Entonces, usted... La escucha, y aunque muchas veces no se capta la primera, pero con la práctica usted lo va a diferenciar. Y en el caso del would es diferente, porque es una apóstrofe y la de, ¿verdad? Entonces, I'd, I'd, I liked, I liked the, the lamb kebabs. Y también el contexto nos ayuda para identificar que es una contraction. I like the kebabs. Entonces, eh, la primera sería identificarlo por esa diferencia que con inglés el have, I'll have, o I'd like. Entonces hace como una pausa. It's okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yes. All right, perfect. Uh, well, somebody else had a question too. Teacher, yo solo quería preguntar. We, we can to use one to respond to answer the, the, the waiter. Yes, you, want. you can use want. You can use also want. It's 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 another word to say yo quiero, right? You can do that, of course. Um, but it, I don't know the context, or I don't know, uh, but it's very common to, to use have and also like. Those are very common even though in English conversations, you will see these structures even more than one, two. Esto como que se ocupa un poquitito más que el want. Entonces, es como, son como más comunes para un restaurante. But you can use want and people will understand that. But those are like the most common. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's work with the following exercise. And it says, let's practice. Complete this conversation and then practice with a partner. We had to uh, try to uh, complete the following conversation here. And I want you to uh, practice this conversation, please. En... Vamos a trabajar en esto mientras ustedes lo completan. Vamos a pasar la asistencia. Yes. We will check the attendance list. Are you ready? Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so yeah. try to complete it and I need to check the attendant list. So if you allow me one moment, please, I will check the attendant list. Les he mandado por acá por, eh, por este medio el, la imagen para que usted pueda elegir la mejor respuesta. Give me one moment, please. Okay, um, we will check the attendance list right now. So just give me one second and we will uh, attend this. Vamos a, vamos a verificar esto. Así que, um, Ada Agar Burgos. Present. Thanks. Blanca Elena Melara. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Okay. Eh, Cristian Salatiel Molina. Present. Claudia Lisset Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thank you. David Roberto Aquino. Present, teacher. Present. Thanks. Eh, Denis Francisco Alvarado. Yes, present. Uh, Elena Gabriela Joven. I am here. Eh, Esmeralda Isabel Martínez. Esmeralda Isabel. Present, present teacher. Ok. Gisela Emperatriz Cañas. Present. E Héctor Iván Pérez. Present teacher. Thanks. E Jocelyn Stephanie Mejía. Jocelyn. E e Kenia Vanessa Corbera. Kenia Vanessa, Marco Antonio Quijano, present. Eh, María Elena Flores, present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Oscar Antonio Ramos, present. Eh, Rebeca Jonel Hernández, present teacher. Thanks. Vanessa Gabriela Hernández, present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Xiomara Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jessica Esmeralda Martínez. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Jocelyn Elizabeth González. Present teacher. Thanks. Okay. Thank you guys. Well, let's try to answer this. Um, conversation together. Ok, let's go with the first one. Eh, decíamos que está waiter y waitress. Eh, ¿Cuándo decimos que usamos waiter? Cuando es hombre, right? Eh, yeah. Y cuando es mujer es waitress. Como en el caso de esta conversation. So, because it's a woman, it's a waitress. So the conversation start. What? Number one. What? Would you like to order? Okay. So the first one is would, right? Yes. What would you like to order? It is a customer. I will have. Uh -huh. I will have. Entonces tenemos el will, right? I'll have, I'll have. Entonces vemos ahí, entonces que es will. And in the conversation says, I have a fried chicken. Y luego dice the waitress, you like rice or potatoes? ¿Cuál sería ahí? Would. Would you like? Would. Okay, would you like rice or potatoes? 
uh, potatoes, please. And what kind of potatoes would you like? Yes. Yes. Like. What kind of potatoes do you like? Mashed, baked, or French fries? I'll do. Oh, okay. Excellent. We're using will, right? I'll like mashed potato or I would like. ¿Cuál sería ahí? I would. I go. Exacto. En ese caso tendría que ser would. I would like, me gustaría mashed potato. Okay, and, uh-huh. And would you like anything to drink? Okay, would you, and would, right? Would you like anything to drink? Yes, would you like anything to drink? I guess I will. I will. Okay, we use will. Okay, so we use will. I I'll have I'll have a cup of coffee. I'll have. Y luego le dice waitress, would you what? Like. Like. Would you like? Would you like anything else? No, that. That what? Will. Will. Will anything? Mm, that will be all for now. No, eso será todo. O eso sería todo por ahora. Sería. Okay, that will be all. That will be all for now. Eso sería todo por ahora. Gracias. Eso sería todo. Entonces utilizaríamos el would. That will be all for now. Thanks. Y later, later, dice the waitress. And would, would, you like you, would you like dessert? Oh, dessert. Yes, I. I would. I would like. I would. I would, I would like ice cream. Oh, I would like ice cream. Nice. I'm hungry. <laughs> so let's see this part. What flavor would you like? What flavor would you like? ¿Y qué sabor te gustaría? Mm, I will have. Okay. I will. I'll, I'll have. Chocolate, please. Okay. I bring it right now, right away. En este caso, right away. Right away es como decir inmediatamente. Es decir, en este preciso momento. In this precise moment. Eso es el significado de uh, right away. Entonces, eh, hemos podido completar esa estructura de esta conversation. Eh, ¿Preguntas? ¿Questions? Sorry, the question is what the meaning, I guess. Ah, I guess es como decir, eh, supongo, como para suponer. Um, cuando le dice el, the waitress, oh, and uh, would you like anything else to drink? ¿Te gustaría algo más para beber? Eh, supongo que me gustaría una taza de café, por ejemplo. Entonces, that's the meaning about I guess. Como decir, supongo. Yes. Any other question? Uh, no more questions, guys? Okay. Vamos a, no, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Uh, nos vamos a ubicar a la primera parte of the conversation we started before. And estamos a ver. It's here. Let's see. Eh, esta parte de la conversation. Vamos a hacer esta parte. Eh, nos vamos a ir a la conversation y usted va a crear su propia conversación con sus compañeros. Solo que usted le va a cambiar, por ejemplo, el tipo de comida. Dice Claudia, hey, may I take your order? Y va a decir Denise, yes, I like a uh, hamburger. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a 
a green salad or I need uh, also with some dressings. And uh, what kind of dressing would you like? Uh, blue cheese or only cheese, only vinegar or ketchup, for example. And uh, something else, would you like anything to drink? I would like to drink uh, orchata. What would like to drink uh, Coca-Cola? What would like to drink, I don't know, it's like a brand, a drink. Un fresquito de naranja, <laughs> an orange drink. So you will think about it. Entonces, usted va a agregarle su información a la conversation. Tiene que agregarle el tipo de comida, que es lo que quiere. Igual hacen un role play. This is going to be done eh, in a couple of minutes of the conversation. Así que vamos a formar los breakout rooms y vamos a trabajar en eso. No sé si tienen preguntas. No? Ok. Let's go. The, the same structure. The same as, yes, yes, the same structure. Correct. Thank you. The same structure. Vamos a hacerlo breve because of the time. Así que vamos a ver, tenemos... Ok. Iniciamos. Let's go.
pero si quieren no cambiamos y ponemos algo que las tres Vaya. digamos. Sí, en la, en la segunda sería I like the wings. O creo que solo sería I like wings. Y cuando pide la ensalada, mejor unas papas fritas. Yo, yo ajá, por la comida había puesto que, que las... Pero creo que en las wings tenemos que poner chicken wings. Chicken wings. Ajá, chicken wings. Yo sería, I like chicken wings. Chicken wings, ajá. Y... Uh... Ah. Ay, no, creo. Entonces, ¿quién va a empezar? Lo que pasa es que no tenemos que terminar. Ah. Ahorita iría, tendríamos que cambiar donde Le dice I have a, a Missy Green Salad. Entonces ahí podríamos poner que I have uh, a ajá. Ah, ah, lo mismo, papas fritas. O pizza. No, porque como le estamos ah, diciendo so, la ensalada, ah, entonces ah, sí, ahí dice que French quiere una fries. ensalada verde. Ajá. French, entonces podríamos decir que sí quiere papas fritas. Uh, French uh -huh. fries, creo que se dice. Uh, French, French fries. fries. Ajá. French, French creo que es. Ajá, como casi como French. se dice Francia. French. French fries. Y sería lo mismo en la siguiente entonces, French fries. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have. Le podemos poner. Hi. 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 Okay, guys, we will uh, conclude our class because, you know, so the time. Thank you so much for the effort and also for your incredible participation in this process. I know that we have a great mission to to accomplish. And also that will be, be part of this process of learning English and practice. And I'm really excited to, to listen to you practicing English, and that's very important. Eh, pues felicitarlos por, por el esfuerzo. Yo sé que pues, es un gran esfuerzo el que hacemos. Eh, es, es importante que podamos tomarla en cuenta. Eh, comentarles que mañana tendremos clases, así nos informó Isafor, que el día de mañana pues, estaremos teniendo clases. ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, para que podamos aprovechar el día de mañana, también quiero que trabajemos la parte de speaking. Eh, es muy importante realmente la parte de, de habla, entonces vamos a enfocarnos en pronunciación, vamos a enfocarnos en el acento y pues lo están haciendo muy bien, los felicito y yo sé que es un gran esfuerzo, pero yo sé que la recompensa es que ustedes van a llegar a hablar un, un, un inglés un nivel muy importante y muy avanzado, así que eh, felicidades para todos y pues han hecho un gran trabajo este día So I hope to see you tomorrow and thank you for being here and have a beautiful night to all of you guys See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a good time.